Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to automate Instagram post with OpenAI. So if you want to make sure that every day a single post is uploaded on your Instagram page, then you can go for this automation. Here we are going to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect, where first we will put a schedule by Pabli which will make sure everyday posting, then we will generate the content using OpenAI and then the post will be created on Instagram. So in this automation our trigger will be to trigger everyday by schedule, then our first action will be to generate content and then we will create a post on Instagram. So let us learn how to do that. So in this video we are going to learn how you can automate the process of posting on Instagram every day. For this we are going to use this Google Sheet where we will collect the title of our caption or the post that we are going to create, the image link that we want to post on Instagram and the date when it has to be posted. Now if you fill this whole Google Sheet with the data and the dates over here when this post has to be created and then at that time that will be posted on your Instagram feed. So let us quickly sign in into our account. That will take me to this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Click on access now given under Pabli Connect and we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as use open AI to automate Instagram post. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you will be able to see on your screen. Now you can see trigger and action windows. Trigger is when this happens and action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first application where the changes will be made by us manually and that will trigger this workflow so that the action application performs the assigned action. In this workflow our trigger application first of all will be scheduled because we want that the post on Instagram should be created every day. So this schedule by Pabli is a feature that is built inside Pabli Connect itself and it makes sure that your workflow will run how many times you can set that as per your requirement regular intervals once only every day and any specific day of the week i want a post to be created every day and the time will be set from here let's say 12 15 pm is the time when i want my post to be created so at this time every day the workflow will start running once the trigger has been applied now we will go for the current date because we also want that every new day when this workflow will fetch the current date and that it will fetch from this Google Sheet also. So when the current date will match the date over here in the Google Sheet, then that data will be used to create the post for that specific date. So let us choose over here date time formatter which is again a feature built inside Pabli and the action event will be current date. Click on connect, no specific way of connecting it to Pabli because it is built inside that only. Now you can choose the format from here. If you want the date to come over here in this manner, then you can choose that or this. You can keep it anyways. Just make sure that this format matches the format that you have entered in your Google Sheet. Now once this is done, click on save and send test request. And here you have received today's date. So close this window because we have received the date now and now we want to fetch this data from the Google Sheet. So what you're going to do over here, your next action application first of all is going to be Google Sheet and then the event that you're going to choose is called lookup spreadsheet rows which means that you want to fetch information from this Google Sheet rows and then you will mention that what are the details that you want to fetch. So for that you need to first connect your Google Sheet and your Pabli Connect. So click on add new connection and because it is a Google application sign in with your Google account. Choose your Google account and click on allow. Now since both of these are connected, you can choose the spreadsheet name and also the sheet name that is given over here. So here from this drop down menu, you can see Instagram post. This is the spreadsheet name and the sheet has already been selected because we were having just one sheet. Now which column you want to look up? So if you don't understand what you're supposed to do over here, you can read this help desk given over here. Search column as example A, B, A, 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 B. So you can pass like you can type over here multiple column names and put commas between them so that it will grab the matching rows and give you all the values. So here we want that A, B and C should be fetched. Okay, so A, comma, B, comma, C. So you want all these columns to be fetched and which value to be looked upon, which is the value that you need. Like if you want the A, B, C, so what one specific one you want? So we will take C. Okay, so we will take that the response from the current date, this should match this column, any column. Okay, so like the current date it is fetched today. It's, it's 9th May 2023 and it should also match this. So let us correct this one. The date should be 
9th May 2023. Okay, so this is the date. So when this date matches this response, then Pavli Connect will fetch these two columns along with this as well. So we have to mention it over here that you have to enter some unique data. So we will map this from this date time for matter response here. Okay. So now include headers in response. So if you want the headers also like this is the title, link, date, if you want that, then fine. If you don't want that, you can keep it to false, but I'm keeping it to true. Now click on save and send test request. And here you will find that in your response, you have the title, the link of the picture and also the date over here. So we are going to use this link to paste in Instagram and this title to generate a caption from OpenAI. So now your next application will be generated from this plus button. The action window appears and here you will select open AI as your action application because just now you are just having the title of the picture. You want to generate a caption for the same. Click over here and click on generate content. That is your action event. Click on connect and then add new connection and you have to enter a token over here. So click on this open AI API keys page. If you already have an account, then you will straight away be logged in over here. Click on create new secret key and give it a new name over here. This is my name and a key will be generated. Copy this and paste it in the token section. Click on save and here it will be connected. Now the AI model has already been selected. You have to enter the prompt over here. What command that what actually you want open AI to do. And then you have the different filters over here that you can put to your text. But right now, since we are just now generating only the caption for an Instagram post, which does not need a lot of these settings, sampling value, presence penalty, frequency penalty. So all of things can be understood by going to the playground over here in open AI API page. This is the playground where you can generate content using open AI but manually and all the details are given over here so you can read the instructions to understand what are they used for. Only thing that is understood over here is max tokens which is the number of words you need. So even if you don't mention the number of words the default value for all of these are already set so you can leave this empty and they are also not a required field. So here in prompt we will write generate Instagram caption for Okay, now since you've mentioned Instagram caption, it will automatically keep the length of that paragraph short. And from the Google sheet, you will map the title from here. Now, once this is done, you don't have to make any other setting over here. Click on save and send test request. And here we have the response from our open AI, which says this, a small short and sweet caption has been generated. So now since we have the caption, we have the picture link. So let us finally choose Instagram for business and then the action event over here will be published photo. Click on connect. Make sure you've opened your Instagram account here so it will be easy to detect. Add new connection. Connect with Instagram for business and it will automatically be connected. Once it is connected because you have opened your account over here, the name is already selected. Whichever is the name of your Instagram account will be selected automatically over here. Here you have to enter the photo URL that you have received in the Google Sheets response. This is the link and then the caption that we have generated from OpenAI. So you can take the title like this, enter and then give the caption. Okay, now this is done. All right, now click on save and send test request. And the response from Instagram will be here in just a minute. And we have received the IDs. Now remember that it shows no error first of all and IDs are a proof that something has been generated. Which means that if there is no error then our work has already been done. So let us go to our Instagram and check that have we created a post or not. Refresh your page. And here we have the picture and this is the caption over here which means that we were able to create an Instagram post and also because of the schedule by Pabli, we can ensure daily posting on Instagram. The current date is over here and Google Sheet has to be maintained with the title and the link of the picture along with the date when you want it to be posted. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect.
If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.